Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding Jutsu channel. So quick and amazing news before we dive in. This channel just became a YouTube partner. That's all thanks to your support. So seriously, thank you. It's because of milestone like this that I get to keep making deep dive videos on cool tech like the one we have today. If you enjoyed these videos and want to support the channel, there are a few easy ways to do it. Hitting the like button always helps. Share it with someone who'd find it useful and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also use the super thanks button below the video to leave some support. And for those of you who want to go the extra mile, we now have channel membership. Members get access to exclusive videos and other perks. All right, enough housekeeping, let's get coding. All right, I wanted to make a quick little video on an underutilized browser feature that's actually really powerful. Most developers know about local storage and session storage for storing key value pairs. But did you know your browser actually has a full database built into it? It's called indexed DB, and it's way more useful than people realize. Let me show you why. First, here's a standard local storage use case. This works, but you have to manually JSON stringify and JSON parse. And that's because local storage only stores values as strings. It's also synchronous, so it blocks your UI. It's limited to about five megabytes. So if you try to store something over five megabytes, you're out of luck. And it's not great for performance either. Local storage was meant for tiny things like flags or tokens, not for storing notes, messages, or caching an entire API response. This is where IndexedDB shines. IndexedDB is a real asynchronous NoSQL database inside your browser. It stores objects directly, no string if I needed, it's non-blocking, and it can handle hundreds of megabytes of data, depending on the browser. That makes it perfect for offline first apps, or some say local first apps, like note taking apps, chat history, or storing images when the network is down. Let me show you a quick example. To open a database, call indexdb.open function. We're gonna give our database a name and a version number. If it's the first time, the on upgrade needed event lets you create your object stores. Think of them like tables. Here I'm creating a node store with ID as the key. Here I add a note with an ID and text. Notice I didn't need to stringify, it's an object. Then I fetch it back with dot get. And the data is still there even if I refresh because it's persistent in the browser. You can also inspect your database directly in DevTools under the Application tab, just like a mini database viewer. Updating is just another put with the same key. Deleting is just dot .delete with the ID, super simple. You can check that by going to Application, Notes, and go to My DB, and Refresh Database, go to Notes, and here you can see there's no value. If you're testing and want to start fresh, just run database with the name. That wipes the whole thing clean. You can check in the application, go to your IndexedDB. Remember to refresh the page so you can see that the database will be gone in the next session. You can also delete the database right from the DevTools as well. There's a delete database button right there for you. So that's IndexedDB, a powerful built-in database right in your browser. Unlike local storage or session storage, it can handle way more data, structured objects, and it even works great for offline use cases. We looked at how to create a database, add and read records, and even how it persists across page reloads. Plus, if you need to reset or delete it, you can manage that too. Honestly, this is one of the most underused tools in web development. And once you get comfortable with it, you will start to see a lot of possibilities. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick dev tips.